How's it going everyone and welcome back to another episode of Fire Emblem Fates for the Nintendo 3DS. I might sneak sometimes and in this episode we will be taking on chapter 8. So if you guys are excited for this episode, don't forget to leave a like. It'll help out the channel and the series so much and I'd really appreciate it. So without further ado, let's jump right out, go right inside and take on chapter 8. <sighs> we can do this. What? Please, be silent. Oh! Hmm. Huh. Oh! Listen. No! Hmm. Uh, big brother! We've got this! All right! What's that? No. Unbelievable. What was that? <laughs> oh. Hello. Let me explain. <sighs> yes. Yes. Uh-huh. Uh. Wait. Yeah. All right, so now that is out of the way, let's go right in and start out our fight. Uh. So it goes. 
Ahem. Oh? Help? Hmm. No. Yes. <laughs> yes. Me too. <laughs> so it looks like we're going to have to save three of our allies which should be very useful in the future. So what we're gonna do first is start moving our new character that we just got last episode over a little tiny bit so that she can attack this guy eventually as well. Because since this guy is level seven, this should be a little bit harder to do and try and traverse all of our characters over so that this guy does not do too much damage to the rest of us. So let's move them down just a tad bit. Move everyone else around just in case. And I think we should be good. I think we should be good. Can we just attack with this person though? A uh, 9 and 9, that would not actually do enough damage. But, I'm pretty sure that will make this guy drain down just a tad bit. So we can finish this guy off pretty easily. So there we go. Now that that is done, let's get zero damage to us. So I'm pretty sure our, our Pegasus friend will help us out in this battle. Because if not, then we'll be screwed. Oh, that guy's running away. Are, are you serious right now? Knock it off there, brother. Okay, so this running over to us. That's pretty nice. Thanks for that, guys. Let's kill this guy right quick. He's dead with his brass katana. That was a very easy battle, if I do say so myself. So now that that is done, let's use Corrin to talk to our friends that we have just met. Or not. <laughs> um, so we can't really get to them as soon as possible, but I'm pretty sure if we just hold our ground just a tad bit, we can basically just wait a little bit longer, and then we can talk to these guys. So let's just walk all the way across. Maybe not. <laughs> um, move everyone around just a little bit more. I'm pretty sure we should be okay. There we are. Last two people. And it's time for the next turn. Of these enemy people. <laughs> they were just coming right at us for no reason. Like, knock it off, brother. Oh, okay. They're they're surrounding me. Oh, okay. Well, let's talk to them. Well, her. Big sister. Huh? Well. Uh-huh. Oh. What? Uh. <sighs> We've got this. <laughs> Awesome, so now we have three new characters that we can use now. Let's uh, fly with her and not do any damage. <laughs> uh, how about this one? Same as exact scenario. So I'm pretty sure this person did a little bit more. Very nice. So let's use her bow and arrow to do seven damage alongside with the Pegasus Flyer. And we can do some more here. Uh, three and three, that's uh, nine. Nicely done. So this should almost finish this guy off. Not entirely sure how much more this dude can take, even though we missed. We missed with everybody, are you serious? Wait, how? How's that even possible? Oh well, whatever. <laughs> Things happen, I guess. And then we can attack with, never mind. <laughs> she will do zero damage. So that's kind of a uh, freaking bummer right there, but 
I guess that's how some things roll. So there we go. We dealt three damage once again. He'll try to attack us with his one damage, which hurt a lot. And then we can finish him off almost with an another three. So that's good to know. And then we can just keep on walking across. And hopefully finish off, off these guys soon. Yep, that's still just the same. So let's just keep on walking up, I guess. And we can start our onslaught over to the next scenario. So that guy would not go too much farther up. So I'm just going to keep on going up, I guess. So this should be good. And move our ninja up a little tad bit. And then that should end off this turn. There we go. And now we're golden. All right there, guys. Let me fight you. Are you serious? Stop healing him up, man. Not even nice. 16? Wow. That is crazy talk right there. <laughs> crazy talk right there. Let's kill this guy. Maybe not, but it's good. To, it's really good to uh, level up all of our other characters just in case something bad happens. Or like there's a scenario where we have to split up in the future, then that will really help us out. So let's use uh, Azura to do the Dragon Vein, which will uh, increase the amount of grass that we have in this location. So that should be good. And then we can attack him again for nice 14 damage, hopefully. Not entirely sure if we'll actually hit him with this since it's my luck half the time and I don't even actually hit these people, but... Of course, uh, he did hit us, but we did hit him back, so he has two more damage to go until he will uh, evaporate into the skies. So there we are, that's an 8 damage right there. 100%, he's, he's toast. Make sure to butt him up later. Nice, dude. And she almost leveled up on that instance, but we missed it by a tad bit. So that'll be eight damage coming right up. Make sure to uh, not do this anymore. <laughs> there you go, buddy. There you go. That's how you do it. And up here as well, which will do three damage. That's about a nice ten right there. I mean, I'm, and I'm pretty sure that... Uh, our next Pegasus friend can uh, totally mess up this guy's life, and he will be no more. Gosh dang it, dude, with the fives. Knock it off. You're almost dead, too. Like, seriously, just stop. And he leveled up. <laughs> Nicely done. And here's our last hit. Right? Yes. Nicely done. So that guy is ended, and now we can finish off what we're going to do. So this should be perfect. So now let's uh, walk all right, right over up to the very north side and try to block these random guys from coming after us. Like, like all these guys who would try to kill our healers and our guys that are very, very low on health and level. So this guy should die next turn. He, he gets dealt... 20 damage, 20 freaking damage. That is pretty crazy right there. But unfortunately for him, his his time on this earth is very, very limited. Of course, she heals him. You gotta be kidding me, mage. You gotta be kidding me, you white mage. Gosh dang it. Okay, so this makes it a little bit more difficult. We're gonna, we're gonna need to uh, kill this lady over here. Sorry about that, ma'am. But get out of here. See you later. Have a wonderful day. Sorry. Have a heavenly day. <laughs> there you go. And we got the Bloom Fest. Freaking, freaking Festal? The Blue Festal? Alrighty then. Well, after that stuttering session, we can move across again over to this fantastic area where we kill this freaking guy. Nicely done, dude. Nicely done. You freaking did it. <laughs> okay, so now that we're done with that, let's move over to this guy over here. Where we take off his training wheels. Where this ninja just totally wrecks his face with an 84% chance of hitting him. Nicely done, dude. Nicely done. One last hit, I think, right? Yes! 13 damage, dude. 13 damage. That's so much. <laughs> He's getting so powerful at the certain point. 
so that's very good. That is very good. So let's go up, up like so. Dance for our friend. We'll sing for our friend every freaking episode. I said the same thing. Sing. Sing for his friend. Sing for her friend. They'll do a three. I'm not going to risk it. I'm just going to stay there, I guess. It's actually very nice um, and useful to sing for our other friends just so that she can level up a little bit more because that's how she levels up early game. So let's heal him up. Very nice. And she leveled up to level, I have no idea, level four. <laughs> great job, Felicia. You're great. You are great. I'm not giving you a raise, though. That's a little too much to ask. I'm sorry about that. So a few more turns to go, and I'm pretty sure we can make up the rest of this battle. There's only a few more characters to go, though, so this should go down a lot a lot better. Let's go run right... Oh, not like that. Holy crap, dude. Trying to mess up everything, right? Oh, God. So we made it this far. Oh, yes, we have. Okay, so we have to fight with honor. I have no idea what that means, but apparently we're gonna have to do something spontaneous or something like that, but let's take on this guy. Finally, since he's not freaking moving himself, let's take the initiative and get past this person. So that should be nice. That should be good. Just wait, I guess, and then uh, make another grass vein appear so we can travel over to the main boss's area. So we can attack him with corn and everyone else. So there we go. Let's uh, just walk right up with everyone else, like I just said. And this should be good. Alright, let's stop it. Here we go. How much- oh, of course you go for him, freaking her. Let's go! Why would you go for her, though? I don't understand it, like... You are at a disadvantage to begin with. Maybe they'll attack us or something? Please don't attack us, that would be awful. Zero damage. Dang it, dude. That ox spirit is gonna mess us up, dude. Oh my gosh, that hurt. Thank you. And another four with the rat? Oh my gosh, you freaking rat! That's not nice, dude. Oh my gosh, the little rat just killed us with four damage. Not even cool, man. So, of course, now they use the sun and Vestal to heal up our friend. She's not really our friend, she's just some random guy we found on the street. It's so like that. And then we can sing for Corin. Yes. And then he can attack all these random demons and monsters that are coming after us today. There we go, baby. Right there. That'll do a nice little 20 damage. 95% chance of actually hitting him with his rat spirit. And we did it. <laughs> Guess I did it right. So it seems like to me that we're going to have to try and kill this white mage over here because she will just heal up everyone else that we're trying to defeat. So if we do that, then I think we'll be home free. We will definitely be home free. And we have some freaking festival again. Very nice. Let's kill this person with uh, two times 10 damage. That should do it. See you later, I'm sorry about that, but you're gonna have to knock it off with your ox spirit crap. <laughs> I don't even know how the how the spirit hurts you, but whatever. So there we go. And now we can fly right over, right? I think so. Closely done, though. Almost done. And then we can attack the rest of these people with the rest of the damage that we have. So that's uh, 14 damage. We need 10 more to go until this guy is no more. And hopefully we kill him with both of our attacks, because if not, then we're going to be at a very high disadvantage. Let's attack one more time. Like so, that will that will do it. That'll do it. That'll that'll do it, donkey. That'll do. Eleven damage to that guy as well. Nicely done, dude. Two ninjas are in the house today. And we got the Iron Club of Wisdom. Which I have no idea what that is, but thank you for that awesome gear. Now we can wait for this guy to come at us, but it won't actually happen. So let's just finish this off, I guess. Nice little thirteen damage, and he will do eight damage to us at an 86% chance of hitting us, so this may not be good for us. This may not be good, but hopefully we can do something pretty fantastic, like the dragon thing. Uh, I didn't really pull that out of my hat, but I did. So you're welcome for that. And now we can do an awesome damage ability, which is worth 25 damage to this guy. 
So we have uh, 13 damage to go, 13 HP to go, until we can finish this guy off, which is eight and eight, well, four and four, which is eight. And then uh, we'll need five more to go after that point in time, and then we should be okay, I think. We missed, of course, are you, are, are, are you serious? Wow, never mind, we just went last. Who would've thought, who would've thought that? Not me. One last portion of events. Should do 15 dam- I'm gonna go like this, I guess. On a- on a little bit of a distance, just in case, you know? Just in case we lose. Uh, freaking corn will be at the disadvantage at this point, but it's no use. This guy's dead. See you later, man. Give me your iron katana for later on so I can eat it. And now we can, uh, save the day once more. Cause this is just to prove to this guy that we're good. I guess by killing him. This make any sense to me, but okay. Let's see, done, he leveled up, and we finished off the level. Fantastic! Yes. <laughs> huh? You are correct. Understood. Listen well. Thank you. Well then. Oh! Yeah. Wait. Ah. Ah. Um, I'm not a child. I'm a grown man. <laughs> hmm. Thank you. Fantastic. <laughs> huh. Ah. Hmm. Ah. Understood.
Okay, so guys, in the next episode, we'll take on Chapter 9. If you like this video at any point, don't forget to leave a like. It'll help with the channel and the series so much, and I'd really appreciate it. Once again, I have been SD sometimes, and I'll see you all in the next one.